guys, Ash Lane here. Jam-packed episode today. I'm excited to share with you some advanced strategy involving the new dark spells. So we're going to cover each dark spell, and we're going to cover strategy keys for Town Hall 10, as well as Town Hall 9, and some very impressive replays involving all three of the new dark uh, spells, and we're going to cover strengths, weaknesses, do's, don'ts, and all kinds of other stuff. But first, look at my new badge, guys. I am Titan 2. Pretty excited about that. I did a little bragging in global, but let's compare these spell stats. First, dark spells. 540 damage on a poison spell compared to max lightning, 450. So poison's going to take the nod on that one. Let's go to earthquake. Earthquake has 12%. Obviously, there's no light version of earthquake. Four times on four times damage on walls. Now the haze spell has 46 times movement speed where it's a uh, speed increase of 28 on rage. Now something to note obviously the rage while it being uh, much slower does have that damage bonus which is definitely uh, noticeable. So four earthquake spells guys can take out any level walls even max. Now here it's only used on skull walls but I'm going to show you some awesome attacks by town hall 10s against max walls max base and show you exactly how effective the quakes can be. Now, this can create a wider path than a normal jump spell, so you want to keep that in mind and use that on more concentrated areas. Now we're just going to go ahead and drop some random troops here before we get to the big replays, and just to show you how the hay spell works. So obviously, it's really useful on balloons and stuff like that, that damage isn't a big difference, but not, not terribly uh, effective, uh, or I should say more effective than a rage spell on a dragon because you actually want that damage increase as well as the movement speed. Uh, two quick lessons on the poison spell. Number one, they don't work on buildings as I just saw there. I dropped one on that wizard tower, no difference. And number two, they're not that effective on heroes. Watch this poison spell to, in fact, do pretty much nothing against a level one archer queen. So let's get into the actual replays here. But before we get into the spell strategy, note one important thing that not a lot of people are talking about after the update. Single target infernos are much more powerful because they beam much, much faster. They go almost double the speed to max damage as they did pre-update. That's something that was, you know, dug deep in the update notes that not a lot of people, like I said, are talking about. I'm personally going to change both of my inferno towers to single target, see how it holds up on defense. Now, of course, with the plethora of mass golem attacks, I think it might be really really useful and plus having all that uh having all the expos and tesla's in a concentrated area like that really helpful for uh it really it really works well with single target infernos now let's get into the earthquake spells here so this attacker, Patron, is going to be attacking Hunter from Battle Elite, and he's going to do a kind of a slow play on these Earthquake spells. I wouldn't necessarily advocate slow playing like this. I mean, the Golems are kind of going to, you know, buy some time for those Wizards, which is totally fine, but I wouldn't be afraid to spam those Earthquake spells whenever I'm ready to use them. Now, you can see he used a couple on the outer wall, and he's going to use a few also on the inner wall. I think he's using seven in total. So, once again, uh, spam those Quakes, guys. Clear that path sooner rather than later so you don't get troops going all off uh, off course. As you can see here, his golem's going to head south. The queen's going to kind of go around. I'm not sure what you guys have been noticing with that queen AI. Feel free to comment if you notice any big differences. But with all that said, look at the huge radius versus what you would get in a jump spell. A lot of people saying that the quake spells aren't that great. They're not a big fan of them. But from the replays I've seen over in my, my clans, uh, even in Champion and Titan League, people are having a lot of success early on with these Earthquake spells. They just provide a bigger gap for your troops to go in. Look at all the things that went wrong in this attack. And he's still going to pull off the two-star victory using those Earthquake spells. So let's watch another example. This time, Earthquake versus mass, Max Blue Walls. So you can see Mega Matt's not going to be shy. He's going to go ahead and spam those Earthquake spells and watch the huge radius. It opens up a clear path to that town hall and that's going to come in there's going to be another strategy key involving these earthquake spells that's going to come into play towards the end of this raid but a couple things to watch out for in this raid is he's going to use his wall breaker he still brings 12 to make sure he punches a hole through that outer area then he's going to direct all his troops the heroes the golems the pekkas the witches 
all towards the center there. He's going to use some freeze spells. Now, there's a Lava Hound in the clan castle. Now, Poison does do the uh, damage against a Lava Hound, and it's very effective against Pups. Now, a Lightning spell is not effective against a Lava Hound, so that's another benefit to the Poison spell. In the Poison spell, whenever the puppies enter that little realm, instead of having to nail it with a Lightning Bolt, it actually just lingers there, so it's very nice. Uh, so, Earthquake, that was the strategy key I wanted to get to. It lasts longer. Look at that wide open area. If he was to drop some witches that kind of linger just summoning skeletons well they're going to be able to still go through that area whereas a jump will disappear what kind of bases do you want to target with your earthquake guys bases like this with a huge wall radius all like you know around one defensive unit because you can take out a few of them all with a few quakes now my new spell combination for go wee wee i know that's what a lot of you guys are tuning in for is going to be two haste one of the uh, poison spells, two freeze, and uh, two jump spells. Now, Gloria's attack, I I'm still in clouds, guys. I have not noticed any kind of a time uh, de uh, decrease between attacks up in Titan League, but Gloria's finding a few bases here. Now, she's going to use one rage spell. I personally wouldn't use that rage spell. I'd use a two freeze, but the su suggested spell usage is still the same. First haste and the poison upon clan castle engagement. Then the second haste is going to be dropped around the town hall engagement. Once again, personally, I'd be dropping that uh, that freeze spell on the first inferno tower as well as the second one, as opposed to the rage spell that Gloria brings. But this is essentially what the strategy is going to be that I'm going to be using uh, right now. I'm going to be playtesting it much more, but that's what I'd advocate right now. It works really well from the replays I've seen. A few of my clanmates have been sharing them. I don't have time to bring you, you know, 20 replays tonight, but I'll be coming at you with plenty more replays involving this particular attack strategy using the two haste, one poison. Now, where's the Town Hall 9 stuff? Well, here it is right here. Even though it's a Town Hall 10, Skeeto from Red Elite is a Town Hall 9. Now, he's almost max, but he's going to try a go lava attack. And although the base is a little rushed and it's definitely not the best layout by any stretch, you want to note that he's bringing four haste spells. Now, four haste can replace two rage because speed, not damage, is what you're concerned about when you're executing a go lava attack with balloons. Because balloons do plenty of damage on their own. They don't necessarily need that 170% damage boost. In fact, they don't need it. What they use the rage for, for is the speed boost. That's why I'm going to officially advocate using four haste spells as opposed to two rage spells on your air attacks, especially for shattered uh, go la loon or go lava attacks. Why? Well, because you get the bigger speed increase, A, and those four spells, you can actually spread them out really wide. I mean, we're talking spell cost here. Four haste and one poison only cost uh, 2.5 normal light spells, uh, in quotations. So I hope you guys enjoyed these strategy replays. It's early on. We can't really, uh, you know, we can't, we can't know everything about the update, all the uh, implications going down the road. But for now, that's what I'm changing. That's how I'm changing my strategy advice to players who ask and please stay tuned subscribe and tell your clan mates for much much more spell strategy after this awesome update guys thanks for viewing and take care